On August 21st, 2015, a terrorist riding a passenger train from Amsterdam to Paris opened fire using an automatic rifle. The gun jammed, providing four passengers aboard that train a small window of opportunity to subdue the man and prevent him from injuring any more people aboard that train. It was the heroic and brave actions of these four men that saved the life of all of the innocent people aboard that train. So, does the 1517 to Paris deliver the emotional intensity a real-life hero's tale should portray, or should we skip this train altogether? Let's dive in and take a look in this review. First, we'll talk about the story because I feel the story was a bit muddled in how it was actually told. Now, we know from the trailers and possibly our own memories of the actual event that took place in real life that there was a terrorist aboard a train headed to Paris, France that opened fire and injured some folks. In my opinion, it wasn't necessary to show us part of that event and then cut back to when the heroes were kids, in school, going through basic training, etc. So if we are to see their backstory, their lives leading up to this moment, so that when the moment does happen, we understand why they acted in such a heroic way, that's perfectly fine. I understand the importance of that. However, please keep the flow of the story steady. Don't jump back and forth because then by the time we do get to the climactic ending where we see the terrorist attack, it's something that we haven't seen yet before in this film. It's not just rehashing bits and pieces of what we've seen previous in the film and from the trailers so that it feels repetitive and unnecessary. The trailer did a great job of showing us the lone gunman who is about to start shooting passengers. We know that's coming in this movie. Also, this film felt more like a self-made or self-shot documentary about their trip kind of going around Europe and seeing Europe as friends more than it did an actual like movie movie. And I'm not going to compare it to low budget shaky cam films, but I won't say that it's so far removed that there are no similarities because this movie actually uses the real life heroes to tell the story. I feel that's why it felt more self-made than Hollywood produced. The supporting cast in this film was also incredibly talented talented, which really surprised me. However, on screen, it felt like they were directed to kind of dial back or dial down their acting talent so that it didn't really highlight or showcase the inadequacies the real life heroes had as actors. But these guys aren't actors, they're real life heroes. We already understand this going into the film. Let them be themselves, let everybody else in the supporting cast perform at the level we know they're capable of and we'll be just fine as an audience. We suspend disbelief for franchises like the Transformers, Jurassic Park, and all the Marvel movies. We can allow real people to perform as they would considering they have no real experience acting for film or stage. The 1517 to Paris is playing at your local movie theater right now. And I will recommend a big screen viewing if you enjoy historical biopics. This story doesn't set out to actually retell the tale of the terrorist attack on that train, but to introduce us to the real life heroes who saved all of those people that day. This film asks us to spend time getting to know these men, their upbringing, their backgrounds, their friendship, and personal religious beliefs. Then, at the final third act of the film, we see them become the heroes that we know they're destined to be. However, at best, this is just a mediocre film, which is incredibly surprising because of the level of talent that was involved in making this picture come to life on the big screen. While this film isn't terrible, it's not gonna be winning any Academy Awards either. It's a story about individuals, family, friendship, duty, honor, and belief. Unfortunately, the film doesn't land as genuinely as I believe it wanted to, and because of that, it's getting zero high fives from this guy. The 1517 to Paris is playing at your local movie theater right now. Hi, I'm Jeremy Bernanski, and you've just finished watching a movie review on Bernanski's vlog. Along with the movie reviews and the weekly show, we also do the certified rad segments and the movie news breakdown, which you may want to check out. All right, everybody, we'll see you next Monday for a brand new episode of Bernanski's vlog, Monday morning, 10 a.m. PST. See you there. Have a great week.